Track wrestling here at Folkstyle Nationals with Nebraska assistant, new dad, Brian Snyder. Uh, your world changed about three weeks ago, right? Absolutely, for the better. It's been cool. We had a baby boy, Gus, um, the Saturday before NCAAs, um, a little bit early. Not the best timing, but he's here healthy, and um, I was able to get to the NCAA tournament as they were finishing the national anthem, so I got there. Best of both worlds. And you guys had a heck of a tournament. We did all right. We, we finished strong. We um, got some high character kids that are tough. Um, we, you know, we, we could have done better. I mean, I, I think you leave the tournament every year thinking that, um, especially with the high expectations we have with our guys. Um, but really proud of their effort on the backside. They showed a lot of heart, a lot of grit, and um, put some points on the board. We, we, got a, we got a special team coming back. With most of our points coming back, we're excited. Uh, Tyler Berger, I'm sure you probably rolled around with him quite a bit. Oh, yeah. He had, had a pretty interesting season. Um, yeah. you know, a little bit up and down and, and finished strong. What were the things that enabled him to have a uh, strong performance in Cleveland coming back? He, he's, third? he's super resilient. You know, he the, the sport means a lot to him. He invests a lot in himself and his craft. And I think anytime you do that, you always got a you you always got a, a fighting chance. And as you know, he's a fighter. Um, you know, just getting you know just just tweaking some things. You know, sometimes people go through slumps, and then Berger kind of had an up and down year, um, but. Actually, people say it as cliche, like learning from losses, and, and Berger did a, an amazing job at that, you know, and I think you learn from losses mentally, emotionally, as well as technically and physically, and I think more for him was the, the mental and emotional part of the sport, and he figured it out, you know. One thing about him, and I, I think this is a true stat, he, he told me, he won 10 overtime matches this year. Wow. That's, you don't win 10 overtime matches unless you're a tough SOB, and Berger definitely is one. Chad Red, guy with a lot of upside, uh, seemed to maybe, did, th did things come together for him out yeah. there a little bit? Absolutely. Um, again, another guy that stuck with it. He, he, he took more losses this year than he probably ever has in his career. Um, you know, the schedule we wrestle is a tough schedule, and we plan it that way because we want our guys to be ready, you know, for, for March and those, you know, those really important three days in the middle of March. Um, but yeah, he figured some stuff out, and... Uh, He's, he's better because of it, and I think now it's just, you know, the, the, the sky's the limit for CJ. He's a special guy, works really hard, and again, a guy who cares a lot about his wrestling and puts a lot of work in. Another big event coming up next week, right down the road in Iowa City, the yeah. World Cup. Jordan yeah. uh, Burroughs, James Green going to be in that. What are you seeing from them as they, they put the final touches on their training for that? More of the same. They're getting better. Um, they're, they're excited to get back on the mat. You know, they haven't wrestled in a while. They've wrestled since World Championships, so um, they're excited. And Coach Maples on the team, too. So we got three of the starters yeah. training in Lincoln, and then Don Bradley's the, the backup at Heavy. Um, great. You know, it's their, they they continue to impress me. I mean, I'm, I'm their coach and training partner, but they continue to impress me with their just their coachability, their willing to, their willingness, or not their willingness, Attention. but they're wanting to learn. No, and, um, you know, it's Justin JB Brown. continues to hit new levels with his, with his tenacity, and you know, just he, he's the most competitive guy I've ever been around. You know, he won't let you leave your room if you score on him, and uh, I don't score on him anymore, so, I don't, <laughs> so he gets to go home early when he wrestles me. That's what I was going to ask. How are those goes now for you versus what maybe what they were 10 years ago? I, I have different standards as, as, as me winning the day, you know. If I don't get tech balled, I won the day. So, um, JB's doing great. Uh, you know, JB's a big team guy, so when he gets a chance to do this, wrestle at the World Cup, you know, he couldn't do it um, last year. Was it last year or the year before he couldn't do it because Aura wasn't here? A couple years ago. Yeah, 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 because last year they were in Iran. Um, yeah, two years ago he couldn't do it because Aura was, um, wasn't quite born yet. And so it bummed him out not being able to compete for his, with his team and for the USA. So he's excited. And, uh, yeah, to have it on home soil and also just a, just a car, car ride away from us is, is awesome. Have a good contingent there.